YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking about some breaking news that just took place in Washington Park today. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure I go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when new content is posted to the channel like this one. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Let's get straight into today's video. So as we know, yesterday again, the Washington Commanders put out their initial 53-man roster. And looking at the 53-man roster, there were two defensive positions and groups that stood out to us and said, there's no way we're going to sit here and be satisfied with that. One was the secondary, more specifically the cornerback position, and the second one was the linebacking core. So the Washington Commanders already earlier today, go check out that video if you haven't already, kind of solved the cornerback depth in a way you were still uncertain what we're going to get from those guys but they signed two cornerbacks uh one a former san francisco 49er um pick uh his name was Tariq uh fields he's uh, up in marlboro merlin so he's another pg county native and they also signed another cornerback former jets player and now they have some depth at the cornerback position but then you also look at the linebacker position, the second position, um, and we've been talking about the linebacker position being a, a, a need for years now, you know. Um, and you look at that position, and they had Milo Eifler, and, and they also had uh, uh, DeJounte Hurst. So today, not too long ago, probably about 30 minutes to an hour ago, the Washington Commanders actually released DeJounte Hurst, Scooter Hurst, and uh, David Mayo. And that was part due to, you know, as, of, as we talked about, they decided to keep playing players on this roster that they didn't mind cutting so they can actually bring people in that they want to bring in um so instead of them you know actually having players on their roster that they want to keep and then if they want to bring in somebody else they have to cut somebody that they really want to keep they could have kept guys like DeJounte Harris, Curtis, Curtis Hodges for the tight end position guys that they wouldn't have a problem releasing when they want to bring in the guys that they actually want to bring in you follow what I'm saying so now with that being said you all are caught up to speed the Washington Commanders have also you know fulfilled their practice squad nothing to really talk about there because literally everybody we cut for the most part is now on the practice squad Danny Johnson, William Brown Kelly King, um, Jared Patterson, uh, all, uh, pretty much everybody we cut is gonna is literally on the practice squad. There's literally no one new, so it's not really nothing to really talk about that. Now let's get into the breaking news that just happened. So the Washington Commanders are re-signing former linebacker Jonathan Bostic. There you have it, guys. That that's our big splash at linebacker. That's our linebacking. Uh, you know, we've been crying about the linebacker debt. We've been asking for better linebacker play. We've been needing more linebackers, and they decided to go out there and solve it. John Bostic, it is right. <laughs> Come on now, let's be real. John Bostic, really? Like, yeah. At the at this point in the free, in the free agent market right now, um. He may be one of the better ones, but you had all offseason to address this linebacker court when there were actually real options out there. But I don't want John Bostic, man. Why don't I want John Bostic? Because, yes, he's good mentally, but he's not good out there. You know, and obviously um, his, his role is going to be decreased now. He's not going to be be the starting linebacker, uh, middle linebacker. That's going to be Cole Holcomb. So obviously his role is going to be decreased, um, and it's not going to be how it was last year or the year prior to when he actually played, when he was literally the only player that played every single snap. That's not going to be the case. Now, he may be better suited this time because now he's going to be in more, a much more backup role, which now looking at it is probably not that bad. But then again, we also know how he is, um, you know, when he gets on the field. Because I was one to say, actually, now thinking about it, I don't mind having John Bostic on this roster um, as a veteran piece, as a guy that has to go out there and play 10 to 15 snaps, but not a guy that's going to be out there every single snap. Now, Again, it's Ron Rivera. You know how he gets about veterans, especially veterans he had prior to. So just because I'm personally saying that he may not have a big M role as he did once, that doesn't mean that's going to be true. But I just personally feel like they're not going to allow him to have a big role like he did last time. So thinking about it live on the air with you guys, I'm not thrilled about it. You know what I'm saying? Is it the worst? No, it's not. 
But it's just like we're not going anywhere. We're not making no improvements. But then again, it's just for him to be depth. That's how I'm thinking about it, at least. I'm thinking this is going to be a depth piece for us. This is going to be the same John Bostic, again, that's playing every single snap. At least it shouldn't be. And if it is, then I have a, pro a much more problem with it than I have now. Because I don't have that, uh, that big of a problem. My only problem with it right now is probably us not making nothing new. Like, this is another guy that... that we've already seen this is another guy that we've already had before so it's like okay you kind of made a linebacker move you're addressing the linebacker position but it's like are you really addressing it because we already know what john bostic is so it's like we can't get excited about the move because we know what john bostic is capable of and that's really nothing but at the same time it's not the worst because considering the circumstances that the Washington Commanders put themselves in because if they would have addressed this linebacker position early in the offseason they would have had a much better chance of getting a much better player but they didn't do that they kept pushing it off they now are with John Boss again it's not the worst in the world if he's coming in here playing a role that I think he's going to play and that's a backup role but if they trying to thrust him into the starting role then I have an issue with it okay um Again, I'm not mad. I'm not happy about the pickup. It's just kind of meh because it's like it's John Bostic. We know this guy is terrible in coverage. He's a good leader. Don't get me wrong. He's a good veteran guy. He can get everyone else in position, but he's always out of position. You know, he's never the one right, right in the right position. Man, He's always two, three steps behind. He cannot pass cover. You know, and I, I honestly think the only reason why we cut him is because he didn't play last year. Remember, he tore, I want to say, was it his pectoral muscle last year, I think, or the year prior to, and he was out, Um, or it was last year, he was out for the whole season, and that's when Jamin Davis had to, had to you know, p play, or they actually decided to go with David Mayo and whatnot, but if he didn't get injured, he would have played, because you guys know, he, Ron Rivera loves John Bostick for whatever reason. Ron Rivera loves John Bostic. The guy's not good for real, bro. But again, he's not the worst. But he's not good. But Ron Rivera loves him some John Bostic, okay? Um again, my my initial reacting to this re-signing is it's 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 just mad. It's just like, okay, you re-signed John Bostic, you know. It's like we're not making no progress, you know, we're just going back in a circle like we're running in a circle when it comes to this specific position now before we get out of here i want to actually look up um i want to look up some available linebackers besides john Bostick because um at a point in time k1 alexander was a linebacker uh that was available but now he is um i want to say is he on the jets i want to say right now i don't know the exact team he's on but i know he had a huge play in preseason um he, he had a huge hit and caused a fumble so i would have liked that here but obviously you know they're never going to do stuff like that um so looking at the linebackers that were still available it was john bostick um, it was, it was, uh, Don, uh, Dante Hightower. I wouldn't have minded a Dante Hightower because I know he's actually solid, even though he's much older. It's still Dante Hightower. Um, they got Gerard Davis, a 27 year old inside linebacker that I wouldn't have minded because he's 27. He's young. Um, and he still has a lot left in the tank, but you got slow John Bostick up out here, man. Um, again, not the worst looking at it, but there were definitely some better options um, that we could have went with. But again, you know, Ron Rivera, man, he loves his John Bostick, bro. So, yeah, man, the Washington Commanders decided to solve the linebacker depth. We've been crying about the linebacker depth, and this is who they decided to go with. Um, again, my, my reaction, I'm not pissed. Am I happy about it? No, but I'm not pissed because it could be much worse, you know only way i'm going to be pissed about this move is if they're bringing him in here to be a starter i don't think so because they already said cole hogan was going to be the starting linebacker jamin davis more likely than not is going to be the next starter next to him so the only way i will be super pissed about this move is if he is coming in here playing how he did in 2020 where he literally never left the field okay but if he's coming in here to be a veteran mind a backup you know a guy that's going to occasionally step in the 10 to 15 snap range that's fine you know i'm i wouldn't be thrilled about it because i'm not thrilled about the move but i wouldn't be mad because he's coming in here to be a backup because he's not the, the worst in the world but he's just not good so it's all it's all dependent on how they plan on using him again if they use him as a backup cool if he's coming in here to be, be how he was prior to his departure 
I have a serious problem with it, and you're going to hear my mouth. So, yeah, man, there you have it. Let me just think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Want to roll to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. How are you guys feeling? So, the Washington Commanders decide to re-sign linebacker John Bostick. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. I'm out. Peace. Oh, cross me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop, man.